following the commissioning of the Kisumu Shipyard and Floating of MV Uhuru 2 by former Head of State President Uhuru Kenyatta in August last year, the vessel commissioned to complement the old MV Uhuru 1 built in 1966 is expected to hit the waters in July this year. Speaking in Kisumu at the ongoing three-day meeting of the Chief Executive Officers of Military Industrial Facilities availed for shared utilization at Kenya Shipyard Limited in Kisumu, Brigadier Paul Otieno, Kisumu Shipyard Managing Director, noted that industrial investment is an important pillar of integration in the region. The broader picture is that the government is already working up on certain frameworks that will allow us to bring in all the other community members as well as other stakeholders who have civilian capabilities that could be used for the development of the nation and in the event there's a security requirement they can be reverted back. And hence the importance of bringing in Kenya Shipyards Limited, which in part is going to take care of security requirements of the government, but on the other side also contribute to economic development so that we can double hurt ourselves in the event, event there's a need to revert to military, we already have the broader picture of doing so. The meeting which has also incorporated the first ever military industrial exhibition by the Kenya Defense Forces, which is aimed at showcasing defense-related products and services, has seen the construction of the first locally assembled ship at a total cost of 2.4 billion shillings with a capacity of carrying up to 22 wagons. What we are displaying here today, MV Uru 2, which is going to have the capacity of about 2 million liters uh, in terms of uh, capacity for transportation, capable of going to Uganda or Tanzania in less than 10 hours will allow us to continue to enhance lake transportation. The local ship constructed has saved Kenyan taxpayers a whopping 1.3 billion in importation costs, a move that Brigadier General Sibomana Igansi of the Burundian National Defense Forces welcomes, reiterating the need to start investing in the region's local resources. It is a, an occasion for the rest of the ESC partner states uh, defense forces delegations to get picture of the whole product you produce so then we can uh, uh, instead to go uh, abroad overseas we can come here in Kisumu in Nairobi wherever in Kenya to buy what we, we, uh, we, we need the meeting has brought together delegates from six partner states that include Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, Tanzania, and the DRC. Alan Owino, K24.